So we're planning to be in Utah between five and seven days. We're not exactly sure yet. This trip to Utah is not all fun and games. It's fun, it's gonna be sad, but we're going anyway. If you ever wanted to know what I look like when I'm super tired and ready to go to bed, this is it. But I don't get to go to bed. It's almost time to get in the car and go. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. This trip to Utah is not all fun and games. We were just there like a week and a half ago um, to do some house hunting and to visit family. And the reason we wanted to visit family is because my husband's grandfather, who's in his 90s, was not doing very well. So we got back home from our trip and a couple days later he ended up passing away. And he was a very sweet guy, we loved him very much, but we feel very confident that we will see him again one day. So we're going to Utah for his funeral services and we decided to stay a few extra days to have some fun while we're there as well. So we'll do a little bit more house hunting, hopefully we'll go to Lagoon, that's the amusement park in Utah and I've never been. It's fun, it's gonna be sad, but we're going anyway, so come along with us. Now in the words of Kimmy, my friend from She's in Her Apron, aprons on, let's get to work. So my first task is going to be trying to find something for everyone to wear to this funeral. So I don't want to wear all black. We're not, it's not that kind of sad funeral. It's more of a celebration. But I need to find something that's not going to be too hot and something that won't get wrinkled in our suitcases. So let's see what we can find. Okay friends, sorry it's loud in here. I'm doing a last minute load of laundry. But I wanted to show you what I decided on for the kids clothes for the funeral. Now, this doesn't have to match, but I know that we're going to be taking some family pictures, so I wanted to at least color coordinate. So hopefully where we're staying is going to have an iron, because these things are already kind of wrinkled. I'm going to have to fix those. But here's Griffin's, a little shirt with a tie, khaki pants. Jackson has pretty much the same, but I have a vest for him. This dress is Mackenzie's. I got it from Walmart. And here's Lily's, which actually used to be Kenzie's. It's a hand-me-down and this one's from Costco. I know these outfits don't look very summery, but I was at the store yesterday and I couldn't find anything that was really appropriate. It was a little bit too casual, so this is what it's gonna be. Okay, bad news. I have this blue dress, which is like a long, flowy maxi dress, and I'd planned to wear this with this little jacket because I don't really prefer sleeveless, but when I looked here, these little embellishments have come off and I don't really have time to sew them, although I guess I probably could. Maybe I should just do that. It'll be a lot easier than finding a whole Take new outfit. Down. Yeah, maybe I can sew them? Aww. Yeah? Because then it'll kind of match. What do you think, should I fix it? Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, it is 7.48 now and here's how we're doing. The laundry is done, there's a load of dishes in the dishwasher, and I've got all the kids' clothes sorted, but I need to pack them. And the kids are outside playing at the water table, so if you hear yelling and screaming, that's what it is. So we're planning to be in Utah between five and seven days. We're not exactly sure yet. So I went ahead and packed five different outfits. You guys saw the church clothes that we're gonna wear to the funeral. And then I also have a set of sort of nicer clothes in case we go out to dinner with the family. I also have everyone's swim clothes in case we go to the pool or a splash pad. And then I have an extra change of jammies. They're probably gonna be wearing some warm jammies in the car. And then these are sort of hot weather jammies to wear once they get there. And as I'm going through all of the clothes, I have a basket with me so I can put the clothes that I'm not ending up taking in here and these can go back in their rooms. But I probably won't get to that until after we get back from our trip. I'm just gonna leave it in the basket. So we have day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. And yes, this is probably OCD, but I do sort of color coordinate each day's outfit. We are gonna be taking pictures and making videos, hopefully while we're in Utah, so that's why I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the packing cubes. Now I used to do one packing cube per child, but then I found an easier, it was easier for me to just put one day's worth of clothes for everybody. So everybody's Monday clothes will be in here, everyone's Tuesday clothes will be in here, and Wednesday, and so on. So I'll put everyone's outfit plus their socks and their undies for the day, so I can just grab one bag and get everybody ready. Instead of sifting through all of the bags. 
for the day's outfits. So yes, there is a disaster behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything in the baskets and deal with it when I get back from our trip because I need to pack up these clothes and then I need to pack up the food and then we need to get going. Okay guys, if you ever wanted to know what I look like when I'm super tired and ready to go to bed, this is it. But I don't get to go to bed. It's almost time to get in the car and go. So, so we got both of our suitcases packed. Everything else is ready to go. We need to feed the kids dinner, get them in their jammies, and then get in the car, right? Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. Are you excited to go? Yeah. So they're just having some gluten-free cheese pizza because that's what I had in the freezer. And we also cooked up a bunch of vegetables, including asparagus, because otherwise they're gonna go bad. You want some asparagus? Mm-hmm. Do you want some asparagus? Mm-mm. How about you? Mm-mm. No. What about you? Mm-hmm. You do? I don't think he's ever had asparagus before. So while they're eating, I'm gonna go ahead and load up all of this stuff. We have our garment bag with our nicer clothes in it. This is our toiletry bag with all of the stuff we need for taking showers and getting ready. I've got my pillow. I've got clothes for the kids to change into before they get in the car. My diaper bag's full of a lot of stuff, including my favorite little toy. I've got my planner, my binder, my blanket. My husband's bringing his drone to play with. We've got our tripod in case you want to make any videos which I hope we do. And then of course we have the suitcases. Those are in there already. It's getting pretty dark, but we've got the top on the car. We like to put all the suitcases in there. That way we have room for um, the stroller in here. We don't normally bring a stroller when we go to Utah, but since we're gonna hopefully stop at Lagoon, the theme park, we better do that. We're all ready to go now. We've got some warm clothes on. We've got the bags packed. They've got some special things to play with, but as soon as they get in the car, what are you guys gonna do? Sleep. Yeah, you have to go to sleep. It's way past their bedtime, actually. I'm gonna just stay and sleep. Stay asleep, and then you can play with those toys in the morning. What did what toy did you bring? Uh, only tiny hands. Tiny hands and a stuffed animal. Yeah. What did you bring? I brought this cool vehicles game. The phone not cups, my little <laughs> animal in my drink. That is a little phone cup with a string thing that he made. What'd you bring? I'm bringing Shelly May, my lip gloss, Mickey Mouse, my book, and my drink. Good choice. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kenzie. Hi. Are you ready to go? Yeah. So we are officially on our way. It is just past 10 p.m., which is kind of what I figured it would be. John took a nice long nap earlier today, so he should be good to go. Plus, I did get him a Red Bull in my, in my last grocery haul. These guys are supposed to go to sleep. No toys, no movies, no snacks, only sleep. But not sleeping for me, I have some editing to do. I didn't get tomorrow's video done in time, so there'll be no video tomorrow, but I can get it ready for the next day and it'll be totally fine. So, we should arrive in Salt Lake just after 10, no, probably about 9 a.m. hopefully. Say good night. Good night. We are only an hour from our house and we've already hit some pretty bad traffic, but the good news is that all the kids are asleep. So I should probably get my computer out and get to work. Good morning guys, we made it to Utah, but unfortunately we can't check into our Airbnb quite yet. And a lot of the kids were coughing through the night as we were driving, so we're stopped here at a local Walmart. I'm gonna try to find some natural remedies, some cough drops, things like that.
here we are. We gotta go downstairs. Yeah. Oh. Guys, it's really nice. Guys, let's go and check in the kitchen. It's much bigger than a hotel. So we have a nice bathroom here. We have a kitchen so we can cook our own food. And there's a fridge. There's a nice living room over here. You can watch TV dining area, or in this case, an editing space. Oh, washer and dryer. Ooh, nice. It's good, thumbs up. Since this is our first time staying at an Airbnb, we were all a little bit nervous, but it's really nice, it's very spacious, and it's less than half the cost of a local hotel, so thumbs up so far. Thanks for joining us on our journey. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.